and figure it out. And how much time do we get as parents to actually get to know the coach? You know, like really, like if we want to talk to somebody properly, we, we expect that we have to get to know them. We've had a whole bunch of personal conversations and we, we chat to them, we do these things to actually connect with that coach. But as parents, we rarely get that access, right? We rarely get, and, and the coach who's, and when you talk to a coach, that coach is always a little, why is this parent talking to me? I mean, unless you had a previous relationship. So you never really get through that initial you know, barrier. So you don't really know where that coach is at. So when it comes to an important situation, we don't have the relationships with coaches that we probably need to overcome, which can be significant things. Because kids you know, from the ages of 12 through to 17 are going through a lot. Right, whether it's in the basketball court, whether it's somewhere else, and a coach under pressure situations, because where else are these kids facing pressure of competing and traveling and doing all those things, has a really important role. Right? And again, we can tell the coaches that, but we're trusting the coach, who we don't really know, we've never really talked to, we don't really relate to, to do these things, which we've never and the coach kind of knows it, but at the same time, like, that's not my business, it's not my job, I'm the coach, I'm not a parent. Meanwhile, our child, who we, what we really care about, right? Because we care about our children. The coach cares about the children. And really, I think that if we can provide a better environment through communication, we can do a better job of helping our children. So that kind of makes sense. So I think we're all saying the same thing. And I just think that as parents, and I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm just feeling that we're all on the same page with trying to help kids, our kids. But we don't really know each other. So how can we, you know, you're entrusting strangers to help your kids without really knowing them, they don't know you and they don't know the background and how honest can we be if we've got these barriers all the time? So we either acknowledge that these barriers are just going to be there and coaching is just this, uh, you know, hands up job, right? And then parents and coaches never really connect or we've got to find a way to actually understand the coaches as well as they understand the parents and the kids and we do the best we can. That, that's what I got from that, like, because that was really cool. You guys know exactly what you want. I'm just sitting there as a coach going, wow, okay, I didn't know any of that, that parents really know that, right? But I don't know how to connect with parents well enough to get that across. That kind of makes sense. So if we're going to be better, we, we all have to find a way to actually connect with coaches as well as explain that and, you know, do that in a, in a open way rather than in, like when it's too late, we're already too frazzled. Does that make sense? So going to frazzled, because I'll take photos of this and obviously we'll keep developing these conversations with assist services and we'll, we'll hold more. Um, but this is only an hour. But I just want to go 